Hello everyone, it is nice to see you once again. On today's episode, we'll be doing the Singapore Laksa. The first thing we'll be doing is the Laksa paste. Kindly refer to the video description as it is a long list. First, we'll be soaking the dried shrimp to remove excess salt and rehydrating the dried chili so it'll be easier to beat. Next, we'll slice some shallots. You might just want to break down all the ingredients so that you'll be less taxing for your food processor and also, of course, it'll be easier to blend. For the lemongrass, you should remove the roots and only use the white part. Also, remove the first two or three layers. And for the green part, you can always use it to infuse your soup with lemongrass flavors or a drink. Next, you'll be cracking some candle nuts. You'll end up with a tray of colors, flavor, and texture from hard to medium and soft. Alright, next we'll be breaking down and blending them more up together. We always start from the hard to the medium and the soft. You can always uh, use a mortar and pestle or a food processor if you have. Right now, I'm using a blender because that's all I have. Using a blender, you cannot get the paste as fine. When it's not fine, it's hard to masticate. Therefore, you have to remove it after it has been infuse into the soup as you can see i'm adding water to the paste so that it helps the ingredients combine and blend together quicker and smoother next you would want to fry the paste on the pan on low to medium heat until the paste becomes deep red this is to develop extra flavor profile for the paste and to remove the rawness of the ingredients Remember to add a little bit oil at a time as the moisture escapes. Next, you'll be adding 1.5 liter to 2 liter of water to the paste, depending on how concentrated you want the soup to be. Some people put prawn or chicken broth instead of water, but in this case, I use water. We will season the soup with sugar, fish sauce, and coconut cream. I cook the soup for approximately 30 to 45 minutes on low heat just for the paste to infuse into the soup. For me, sadly, I have to sieve the paste out as it wasn't fine enough and it was causing some discomfort in the throat as I swallow it, so I had to sieve it. Now that the laksa soup is done, we'll now move on to the toppings. What we have here are taupok or aka bean curd puffs. Once you cut them, just toss them into the soup and let it sit inside for 5 to 10 minutes on low heat. We'll slice some fish cakes. We'll cook some hard boiled egg at 11 minutes. Devein some prawns and that's about it. Alright, next we'll be blanching the noodles and the toppings. Uh, I use white noodles right here. For most part of the ingredients, I went between 45 seconds to 1 minute except for the prawn because the prawn takes longer to cook. Once you have assembled the ingredients in a bowl, it's time to pour the soup in. Oh man, if only you can be right here with me. The aroma of spices, dried shrimp, coconut, oh man. And lastly, add laksa leaf or aka Vietnamese mint if you have. 
I couldn't find any because I don't know why during this COVID period the market seems to be running off everything anyway once again thank you for watching don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe